Well, we've had to drop off the ram guide whilst we wait for straight edge to appear. Um, <coughs> we found one in Birmingham. Uh, it's an inch and a half shorter than the length I need, but it's the right price. And it's longer than the mating bearing surface. So, yeah, not ideal, but on the other hand, I haven't got massive uh, deep pockets. So. Uh, it's 24 inch as opposed to 26 so we'll do so i put the gib up um i'm going to just do a, a simple rough pass over it clean it off and then uh, set the stone up for printing and just get get this so that it'll, it'll get a, a consistent print along it uh it'll probably need a bit more doing once i get the uh, ram done but i'm itching to get on so that's where we're at so I'm trying to put into effect what I've just read in the last few weeks. So I'm doing one set, first set of passes, one direction, trying to keep them all roughly in the same direction, not overlapping. So you can see there, sort of a, each one's a scrape apart, maybe not that one, for example. Um, and then I'll go and do another pass that way and then print it. So this is where we're at after five passes, keeping a tally on the end here. Um, the pivot points move from the middle to there. You can still see where it's picking up here and a bit further out. So I'm slowly getting rid of the uh, lump in the middle. I'm ignoring basically anything on the outside, 25%, because I think it's rocking a bit as I'm moving it backwards and forwards from the one end. So we're sat on the plate, plate's inked, check for rotation, oops, I've actually done this once but <coughs> forgot to press record, oh. same on the other end, we've got a rotation point, so either there, it wants to be out a little bit more, about, a th about there I think, um, and then holding it at the same end each time and just doing the same movements just to transfer the ink over um, the ink I'm using is a UK brand Stuart's Micrometer Blue apparently not a patch as easy to use as the Dichem High Spot but I've got this and this is what I'm using uh, I've found if you put too much on you can't see anything if you don't put enough on it's microscope job um, and it's just suck it and see until you find what works Lift it off, turn it over. Now, in fairness, that's had two, two re it rubs because I fucked up the. Uh, sorry, <coughs> I made a slight technical error on the uh, record button, but you can see where we get a print now. So that high spot's just moving out slightly. We're hitting well there. That I think is more to do with my. Uh, rotating it so I'm going to again ignore that section until I bring this lot down a bit more uh, we're at cycle six next so this one will be cycle eight uh, the rotation points are now about where they should be on there and what about there uh, you can tell a bit by the uh, the spread of the blue so we're going to shorten down the scrape stroke. I'll have to adjust my Allen key on my elbow. And start picking off just the blue. So when we want basically that's a low, so we want to bring that out, bring that coverage out. And a bit more uh, density through the middle of there, and a bit less around the edge. Got no, no touching there, so we're getting there. Yeah, I'll better go and find my elbow Allen key. Cycle nine. It's coming in now. This is obviously the top edge when it's in position. I don't know which way around that would be. That would be the back end. That would be the front end. I would have expected that to be uh, 
Um, I think now, yeah, that's going to be low, so that's worn more as the touch tool gets pushed up against the cup. That's under load then. Still heavy inking, I'm not uh, too fussed. Um, I can only go so far because the angle between that face and the mounting face is obviously determined by that. Now, as I haven't scraped that yet and the gib's got to fit that, I'm only sort of cleaning the, the gib up and ultimately I expect to have to Prob most likely just adjust the angle on it to get the, an equivalent. I'm just trying to get out any any twist and significant wear in it. Um, I won't make, I'll probably do another 10 cycles and then call it done. Cycles only taking a couple of minutes, so uh, it's a lot quicker than the uh, mind you, this it's a lot quicker than the ram, but there's a what, about 40% of the area to scrape. Right, so this is cycle 12 and I thought I'd just take the opportunity to show you that's a light ink what I call a light inking so if I pull down you can clearly see the high spots and in the high each high spot you've got a paler section in the middle followed by a sort of a ring of slightly darker around it and what's happened is it's pushed the ink off the high spot into the surrounding lower section which increases the density of the ink so it looks darker and apparently the big podge of that one there is a dark centered one which means there's virtually and there and there virtually no ink between that point and the stone now i'm not going to do anything on this cycle now and i'm just going to put a load more ink on the plate and do another ink on exactly the same surface and i'll show you the difference uh, slightly too much ink <laughs> but you get the idea so you can still pick out the high spots there there they're the darker ones which you look sorry they're, they're, they're sort of a brownie gray rather than a blue or pale blue it's just a shed load harder to read I think when you've got that much ink on so we're gonna go over and um, scrape that off spread the ink a bit thinner and do that one again somewhere between those two extremes is ideal but my preference is slightly lighter than slight than darker or slightly less ink than more less is better as with so many things in life so we clean the ink off the part spread the ink on the plate better and we've got a few smears here which is probably crap that I didn't clean off properly on the part it's a little bit easier to read like that now one of the uh, guys on the practical machinist forum has suggested that I reduce the radius so on the end of my scraper which is oh, god knows whatever it started out at uh, reduce the radius so it makes me a shallower uh, sorry a, a narrower scrape but deeper which in theory would give me bigger oil pockets or deeper oil pockets um, and a more defined contact point so next time I do a bit of grinding I shall be doing that anyway as it is we're just going to scrape this off and uh, we're not far off done probably another four passes One day the dog's going to try and get hold of the cat and it's going to really regret it. Right, uh, this is uh, actually cycle 13. Um, you can see where we're, uh, where we're heading, if I get my podger out of the way. Uh, we're hitting a reasonable spread but the two wear areas there and there, still got a bit of weight to come in. 
So I'm going to give it a cycle that way, cycle back the other way, and then cycle that way. Shift some material out of the way. So we've got 20 cycles. You can see the area which is uh, gradually decreasing here, which is the, uh, the wear area, as far as I can see. Um, getting a reasonably even spread down to the other end. And that's come in quite nicely. I don't know why that one's uh, worn, because I'm trying to work it out. So that's basically sat there. So there's not going to be any, well, you'd struggle to get that much left, I would have thought, given that you've got, what, 20 inches of uh, bearing surface and that section's in contact. I don't know. Maybe it was never in contact in the first place. Anyway, probably call it a day on that until we get the uh, the mating face sorted on the ram. Um, besides which, there's a sunbeam glancing onto the stand of the surface plate, which is clearly warmed up and distorted, so not no longer a reference surface. Yeah. Right. Anyway, that'd be therapy for the day. This is the uh, state of play. We've had uh, 25 passes. That uh, area of wear is down to not enough to worry about. Reasonable spread, slightly heavier at the front, and then that could be ink, the amount of ink I've got down. Um, I'm not going to do any more of it now to make sure I match it up to the ram. And uh, it's tea time, or oh, cup of tea time, then walk the dog time, then make some tea time. It always confuses me that. Thanks for watching.